Have you ever wondered how the fall of a titan in the banking industry could happen? Today, we're diving deep into the events that led to the end of Paytm Payment Bank. A story of triumph and downfall, of a pioneer in digital banking, and the lessons we can all learn from its demise. The saga began in 2016, with the Reserve Bank of India's decision to issue payment bank licenses to non-banking entities. Paytm, a well-known name in the digital wallet space, was one of the lucky recipients. With this license, Paytm Payment Bank was born, aiming to revolutionize the banking sector with its innovative digital solutions. As the years passed, Paytm Payment Bank became a household name, its user-friendly interface and seamless online transactions making it a favorite among the masses. However, dark clouds were gathering on the horizon. In the year 2018, the Reserve Bank of India conducted an audit on Paytm Payment Bank and found a breach of Know Your Customer KYC, compliance. This led to a temporary suspension of the bank's ability to onboard new customers. Despite this setback, Paytm Payment Bank resumed its operations in early 2019, promising to adhere strictly to the RBI guidelines. But was it too late? The bank's reputation had been tarnished and trust is a hard thing to regain in the banking industry. The final blow came in 2022. The Reserve Bank of India issued a directive to stop Paytm Payment Bank from taking on new customers, citing persistent issues with KYC compliance. The RBI also imposed a hefty fine on Paytm Payment Bank for violating anti-money laundering norms. The outcome? Paytm Payment Bank was forced to stop its operations. The bank that was once a beacon of digital innovation and financial inclusion was no more. Its downfall serves as a stark reminder of the importance of regulatory compliance in banking. So what are the key takeaways from the story of Paytm Payment Bank? Firstly, innovation and customer satisfaction are significant, but they should not come at the cost of compliance. The banking industry is heavily regulated for a reason, to protect consumers and maintain the integrity of the financial system. Secondly, reputation matters. Once lost, it is challenging to regain especially in an industry built on trust. Lastly, the story of Payton Payment Bank is a wake-up call for all banking entities. It underscores the importance of adhering to regulatory guidelines, regardless of the size or the brand name of the institution. In conclusion, the end of Payton Payment Bank serves as a cautionary tale. It reminds us that while innovation and customer satisfaction are essential, they must always be balanced with regulatory compliance. This balance is the key to sustainable growth in the banking industry. Thank you for watching our video on the fall of Paytm Payment Bank. We hope that you've gained some valuable insights from this case study. As always, if you found this video informative, please consider subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us create more content like this. We're committed to bringing you more engaging and insightful videos on the banking industry, shedding light on its triumphs and failures. So, stay tuned for our upcoming content. Remember, knowledge is power. Stay informed, stay powerful. Let's continue to learn and grow together. Thank you once again, and see you in our next video.